Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, the fertility expert, and welcome back to Fertility TV. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about if your uterine lining is contributing to your fertility issues. So stay tuned for more information. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, the fertility expert, and welcome back to Fertility TV, where today we're discussing your uterine environment and its relationship to your fertility issues. So we often talk about eggs and ovaries and egg quality, um, and maybe the only time we really talk about the uterine environment is in relationship to like fibroids or cysts or polyps or something like that, but very, very rarely do I hear anyone discussing the health of the uterine tissue, right, the endometrial lining. So the, uh, the endometrial lining is essential for implantation. Without a healthy endometrial lining, there's really no place for the embryo to implant, and this is like having a fertile uh, soil to plant a garden essentially. So we're looking for three key factors when we're looking at this, maybe four. The first one is that there's no masses in the uterine cavity. The second one is that it's nice and thick, not all month long, it will fluctuate from diff at different times of the cycle, but that we're looking that we've got a nice thick endometrial lining right around ovulation and certainly uh, the week after for implantation. We're also looking, number three, for the three layers, that it's got three layers in that lining that is what basically makes it a fertile environment. And then number four is that the shape of the uterus is healthy, that there's no random curves and abnormalities. So that's really what a healthy uterine environment should look like. Um, recently, I did get a question about should I be taking, you know, should, sorry, I, let me preface this by saying the, the patient was having issues with her endometrial lining and her OBGYN suggested putting her on Clomid um, and she thought that that would help fix her lining and also uh, fix her menstrual flow, which was thin um, and, and um, not heavy in any way. And so I actually completely disagree with that. Clomid, one of the side effects of Clomid is that it thins the endometrial lining. So it's not something that you want to do on your own if this is an issue that you're having. It's counterproductive and counterintuitive to what you're trying to do in this situation. Um, now, every individual and every circumstance needs to be looked at individually, and you have to balance out the pros and cons of what you need to do and maybe balance it out with other things. But in general, that's not my favorite thing to do in this situation. So some uh, to-dos or homework that you can do at home to help support and nourish and uh, really enhance your endometrial lining um, and, your, and your endometrium um, are these three. First, acupuncture. I love it. It increases blood circulation straight to the uterus um, if it's done the right way, and it's really helpful for impacting the uterine environment and thickening the lining. Two, vaginal steams. Vaginal steams will help clear out the uterus, help you shed your lining, um, and start to replenish with a healthy, nourished uterine lining. And then three, abdominal massage. Abdominal massage helps to increase blood circulation to and through the uterine lining as well, and hopefully create a nice, healthy uh, endometrium. So that's your homework. Start to look into those things. Hopefully this was helpful. If you found it useful for you, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out more videos that might be helpful for you. Um, and if you want a little bit more information and you're serious about taking control of your fertility, then check out my webinar, Five Secrets to Getting Pregnant. You can do so right here. See you in the next video.